Okay, so for this class, we're going to start with question two here. And then all we want to see is um, represent each of the following combinations of units in the correct um, SI form. So you need to understand the SI form of each one of these. So look at the first one here. We'll do the first few. That's kilonewton and millisecond. So you need to understand uh, the kilo newton, basically that's just the newton there. And then the millisecond, uh, the highlight there is the second. So we're going for SI. So the standard form, meaning the kilo newton has to go to just newton. The millisecond has to go to just the second. So that is the conversion that we are trying to do there. So you're trying to convert one kilo newton per millisecond to newton per second. So that is the conversion that we are trying to execute there. So how does it work? So first step, write the units as a fraction and then understand the relationship. In the first step, I want to convert the kilonewton to newton. So I need to understand how many newtons make a kilonewton. So kilo represents a thousand. So it means that if I had 1000 newtons, this will actually be equivalent to one kilo newton. So what we'll do is I will actually multiply here. For, for this one, it's actually very straightforward. I can just get the 1000 newton and put it where I have a kilo newton because they're equivalent. But I want you guys to be used to this form of conversion. So since I want to eliminate the kilo, I want the term that has a kilo to be in the denominator. And that is the one kilo newton here. So I'll put one kilonewton here, and its equivalent term will go in the numerator. That is 1,000 newton. So what this bracket will do is it will convert, help me convert the kilonewton to the newton. Next, I now want to convert the millisecond. So now I need the relationship between one millisecond. Not, let me not say one millisecond. I need the relationship between the millisecond and the second. So milli, what does milli represent? You know to say milli represents 10 to the power negative three. In other words, if I had one second, I know to say one second is equivalent to 10 uh, to the power three milliseconds. You can look at it like this, or you can look at it as one, I can look at it as one millisecond being equivalent to 10 to the power minus three seconds. Either one of these works. You have to see that this is actually the same thing. Both expressions are saying the same thing. In fact, if I divide it over 10 to the power three over 10 to the power three, you have to see that it actually reduces to 10 to the power minus three seconds being equals to one millisecond. So, it doesn't matter which one you want to use. In this case, I'll use this one. So what does it uh, does it imply? To convert the milli to the second, I'll use the multiply again. So since I'm using this relationship, I want to eliminate the milli and it is in the denominator. So I'll get the term with the millisecond and I'll put it in the numerator. And in this case, it is 10 to the power three milliseconds over and the other term has the second which is a one so this is what we have this is what will actually do the conversion for us notice that uh, if i simplify this the kilonewton will cancel with the kilonewton eliminating it for me and then the millisecond will eliminate with this so that in the numerator i'll have one by 1,000 newtons and then by 10 to the power three uh, newtons will be there. In the denominator, it's just one from here, one from there, and one second from here. So that in the end, this reduces are just uh, 1,000 multiplying 10 to the power three. This will just be 10 to the power six, and then this will be newton per second. So this becomes the final answer. Any questions there? Yeah. Okay. So we can do the same thing with all these other 
units. The key thing is for you to just understand what these prefix, uh, what these uh, letters they're putting at the beginning, what they actually represent and how they are translated. So we have megagrams and micronewton there. So that's the key thing you have to, to know there that the capital M here means mega and this weird M here means micro. So be careful if you have MN, this is millinewtons. And then if you have this, this is micronewtons. Milli goes with 10 to the power minus three, micro minus six. Okay, so let's, can we write it in mega newton per second? You can write it in mega newtons per second, but the highlight here is this part here. Do you see that? So true, yes, true. The fact that you have 10 to the power six means that this can be written as just one mega newton per second. But the question is, is this still SI? That's the question because the answer, uh, the question is saying, write them in the correct SI form. And what is SI for kilonewtons? It's the newton. What is SI for mini? It's the second, millisecond, it's the second. So I want to present it so that we have the newton and the second. Did you get that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's go with mega and micronewtons. Okay, so same thing, I have one mega, over the micro, Newton. So first I want to convert mega, so this is mega grams uh, to mega grams, just grams. So don't forget again, um, I can convert the mega grams to grams, but this unit, this is a unit for what? If you look at this, what quantity uh, does this measure? What quantity are we measuring there? Is it mass? Mass, yes. What is the SI unit for mass? Kilograms. Kilograms. Okay, so this is the kilogram that has to be here. So because it's the kilogram that we want, we really don't want to have uh, the gram there, you instead want to have the kilogram. So you can change directly from mega kilo, or you can move from mega to grams then by kilo. So remember, if we had one mega gram, uh, this of course is equivalent to one zero 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 grams. But you know to say if you had one kilogram, this is equivalent to 1,000 grams. So this implies that it's like if this is 10 to the power 6, this is 10 to the power 3, and this is just maybe 10 to the power 0. So you have six steps to reach the mega. You have three steps to reach the kilo. So it's like between these two, you have 1,000 you have three steps. In those two, you have three steps. So if I wanted to know the relationship, if I have, let's say, 10 to the power 3 kilograms, this will actually be equivalent to 1 megagram. You get it? Do you get that? Yes. Another way you can look at it is this is grams, you know to say this is equal to one megagram. And if you just flash out those three, you know to say this becomes the same as 1000. Now it is cages. So that is what you're look, that's what you're working with there. So meaning that in this case, when I'm going to convert megagram to the kilogram, what I'm working with there, I'm going to eliminate the mega, I can say one megagram, and then this is 1,000 kilogram. 
multiplying. So this will help you eliminate the mega gram, converting it into kilo. Now I need more Newton. So I'll try to do this a little bit faster now. <clears throat> so uh, micro Newtons. So let's see what we have there. I want to just take this to Newtons. So what do we have? So I want the term with the micro to be on top. Micro means 10 to the power minus three. So I can say one micronewton. Again, notice that because I'm using one micronewton, I must have 10 to the power minus micro is six. Sorry, I think it's three. Micro is six newtons. Do you agree? Yeah. So, so I start the conversion for you. All you have to do is simplify. So this will cancel with this. So that you now just have one thousand on top, and it will have the kg. In the denominator, everything goes so that you remain with just 10 to the power minus 6 newtons. When you simplify, this becomes 1,000. The 10, the six zeros from the denominator will join up. And this would be kgs per newton. So now you're dealing with SI units, both on top and down. So the SI unit for uh, for mass, the SI unit for uh, for force. Any questions there? Okay, so let's look at F in this case. So it's still the same question. Now for F, how do you approach it? We have the micrometer and the mega uh, megagram there. So how does it go? So it's not really very uh, different from what we are from doing. It's not really different, it's the same approach. In the first part, I'll try to convert the micrometer to the meter. So again, the relationship is simple. Uh, what do I want to eliminate? I want to eliminate the micrometer. So I'll put the micrometer, micro again, 10 to the power six. So if I write one micro, the micro is smaller, so if I write one micro, then I must put 10 to the power minus six meters here. This will help me eliminate the micrometer. So I'll convert the micrometer using that step. In the same way, now I want to convert the megagram to, to kgs. I think we did see the relationship there. So um, I want to have one megagram. So I'll put the mega down, one megagram. So in one megagram, we have 1,000 kgs. So this is the relationship. So having done this, this will sort out the mega so that now it's just a matter of simplifying. So this is just 10 to the power minus six multiplying. So this is in meters, multiplying 1,000 kgs. So that when we simplify, the three zeros will eliminate three from that, leaving us with 10 to the power minus three meter and the kg there. That becomes the solution. Is that okay? Did you get that? Yes. Are you or comfortable working out C as well? Or do you want us to do it? Okay, so let's just lay it down. So yeah, so this is basically just the mega Newton over the kg, the meter, the millisecond. So do it stepwise. First, I'll convert the mega newtons to newtons. So what do I have? I have one mega newton is equivalent to 1,000, uh, not 1,000. This would be 1 million newtons. 
Do you agree? So this will convert the mega newtons to newtons. Be very careful here. In the earlier step here, where we're using 1000, it was megagrams to kilograms. So it was mega to kilo. That's why we had a thousand here. But because it is mega to all the way without bypassing the kilo, uh, this is why we are here. If it was to kilonewtons, it would have been 1000 kilonewtons. Kindly mute yourself, please. If it was kilonewtons, it would have been this. But we know to say the kilonewton is not the SI unit for force. That is why we're going all the way to Newton. So that converts the uh, the mega Newton to Newton. Now, kgs, kg is already SI. So we will not temper with it. We'll leave kg the way it is. But millisecond is not SI. We have to convert. So millisecond, again, milli. So I'll say one millisecond because I'm writing a small unit. I'm converting it to a bigger unit. The bigger unit will come with the minus here. So milli is minus three. So this is what we have here. Again, be very careful here. If I was to write one second here, then this would have to be 10 to the power positive three millisecond. So this is its, its counterpart. But if I write the, the small unit as a one, it means that the big unit will have a negative three. So this will cancel with the milli here. That's why I keep swapping. If the milli is down here, then I'll put it on top here so that they cancel. If the mega newton is up here, I'll put it down here so that they cancel. What we have on top is one million newtons divided by, we have the kg here, and then we have the 10 to the minus three here, secondly. So when you simplify, the minus three here will just mean that we have more zeros on top. And then this is Newton per kg a second. So this becomes the solution that they want. And again, you can perhaps rewrite this and say that this is mega and present your answer as maybe 1000 mega newtons per kg second but again that statement to say that they want the answer in si might um, um, do you injustice there so you might want to either write it like this or maybe write it in scientific notation and say this is 1.00 by 10 to the power this is three and up to nine there nine Newton kg second. Are we okay here? We had a comment. Okay, we we'll just acknowledgement. Okay, so that sorts out question two. Let's look at question three. Question three now, this is where we actually have to, again, it's basically the same thing, but what are they saying? Evaluate each of the following to three significant figures, express each answer to SI units using the appropriate prefix. Okay, so we have the first one that's 684 millimeter over, so this is one thing, over 43 millisecond. So again, it's the same concept that is happening there. We have to uh, to deploy. So that is 684 millimeter over 43 millisecond. Now, the conversion. First, I'll convert the millimeter to meter. So I know to say in every one meter, so I'm going to meter, so I'll say in every one meter, how many seconds are there? 
happens. So you can see that how many millimeters are there. So how many millimeters make a meter? Do you guys know? So again, all you have to do is milli, milli has to do uh, minus three. If you can even say, okay, one millimeter, milli has to do minus two. So this will be 10 to the power minus three meters. Milli is one minus three. That is if you want to do it like this. The way I wrote earlier, where I wrote one meter, I was going to write 10 to the power three millimeters here. So this will convert from millimeters to meters. Now, next, I'll convert milliseconds to seconds. Again, my milliseconds is down, meaning I'll put it up. So I'll have one millisecond. So this will have to be 10 to the power millis minus three, okay? minus three seconds. The best thing about this is as if the milli from the top will cancel with the milli from the bottom. In that it's the same meter in different form, meter per second, but the milli will cancel. So, but again, that's too much information. So, some people can, but standard, the milli will cancel with me. The, uh, that's the millimeter, will cancel with the millimeter. The millisecond will cancel with the millisecond. So that now you'll remain in the numerator, 684, 10 to the power minus 3 meters over 43 multiplying 10 to the power minus 3 seconds. See what I meant when I said the milli will cancel with the milli. This will cancel with that. So now you remain with 684 over 43, and then this would now be in meter per second. Okay, you can give you the number of significance. You can perhaps even divide this so that you get something in decimal if necessary. And then just write it to three significant things. Have you got that? Any questions there? Um, yeah, can I get a response before we proceed? Okay, so we'll do this one because it looks longer. So uh, these questions, guys, it's rare that you will see these questions in your tests or in your exams, but it is this assignment for these questions are just meant to help you understand how to remove them because the questions that you find might come in type of dunes with but understanding how to manage the algebra what these questions are doing who equip you with uh, the skills you need to work out the questions that you find in this course that is why uh this task was given to you guys so that you know how to maneuver from one unit to the other here for example you have this and the idea here is sometimes you can have uh, terms which have different units that are being evaluated, you must first be able to convert them to the same unit before evaluating them. Here we have multiplication and division. You know you have to, of course, this won't really change much, but right here the fraction. And then this is being divided by 3048 millimeter like that. Okay, so notice that just like in the previous case, the milli can be cancelled with the milli there. So you now remain with 28 seconds multiplying that and over meter there. But again, this seems to be too much of a shortcut. You might not be comfortable with it. So let's do it the standard way. So you have three sets of units you have to millisecond to second megagrams to kgs, millimeters to meters, milliseconds. So the milli is on top of milliseconds in the power minus three seconds. That's converted. Now let's go to mega. 
megagrams goes to kilograms. Don't, 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 don't forget that. Megagrams goes to kilograms. So the mega is up, I'll put it down, one megagram, and it's to be 1,000 kilograms. So that is going to convert that the last one millimeter. The is down to go up one millimeter corresponds to 10 to the power minus three millimeters. And this is going to get the last set of conversion. So if it's to convert what we want, the mega will go with the mega. The milli will go with the milli. Now it's just a matter of simplifying. 28 will have to multiply 0 0.0 for 5 8. Then it will have to multiply 10 to the power minus 3. And then it will have to multiply the 1000. The units start to be in the numerator. You will have the second from this term and the kg from this term over in the denominator. You have 3048. And then the units, the only surviving unit in the denominator comes with the 10 the power So that's that. Again, observe that the mean is cancelled with that leader. So that all you have to do is evaluate this. So don't forget the instruction was to release and you can be good. So this part can be evaluated, of course, you also have the 1000 here. And then the units would be second, kg per minute. So this will be the final solution. Of course, you have to evaluate this, express it to three significant figures. Okay, so I think this is how you approach this question. Do we have any questions before we conclude?